Welcome, everyone. It is such an honor for me to be here at the sixth annual 2FYC event, such a meaningful celebration of the Old North, one of America's greatest historical treasures, and one of the few surviving buildings that witnessed our War of Independence. She still stands tall and proud, an enduring symbol of liberty. In 1875, America's first centennial was announced right here. And a century later, in 1975, President Gerald Ford and Queen Elizabeth celebrated America's bicentennial here with the third lantern, dedicated to our third century of freedom and to always renew faith in our ideals. A tradition ever since, the third lantern award is presented to a special citizen who has truly advanced the cause of liberty, opportunity, civic responsibility, and democracy. I'm delighted to introduce the very first honoree from the corporate sector, Mr. Ken Chenault, following in the footsteps of patriots, senators, and presidents, a businessman is honored here this evening. Perhaps most appropriately, he hails from two of the largest service industries in the world, financial services and travel and tourism, industries to which so many of you belong, upon which so many people depend, and upon which the Old North and hundreds of other sites rely upon for their existence. For it is the half million travelers here at the Old North and the one and a half billion world travelers expected globally that help to create growing prosperity and cultural understanding throughout our nation and our world. Through our national treasures, we tell the American story and we convey an even deeper message of what is the American experience, of what really is democracy. They say democracy is based on the conviction that there are extraordinary possibilities in ordinary people. Let me share with you what I know of this ordinary and remarkable man. Born in Long Island, he attended two of our nation's finest universities and through hard work and strong principles, rose to take the reins of one of America's most venerable companies, a household name around the world, American Express. Founded way back in 1850, based in New York City, this 160-year-old company has always stood for trust and integrity, extraordinary quality, security, and service. This great company is consistently ranked number one for customer satisfaction. Fortune Magazine rates American Express one of the most admired companies in the world, and Barron's acknowledges its leadership as one of the most respected. And for many, many decades, the company has been on the forefront with its focus on preserving culture and historical treasures. For more than 20 years, Ken has provided exemplary leadership. And he did so during one of the most turbulent and traumatic decades of all time from September 11th to the present. Following the destruction of his headquarters at Ground Zero, facing sorrowful loss in his corporate family, and helping to rebuild his New York neighborhood, he then steered his massive ship that he leads through the global credit crisis and financial meltdown. And with many partners, some of you here tonight, he kept travelers traveling. His eyes were always on the horizon, a genuine humanitarian seeking a higher purpose, that of building global economic development, jobs, and local pride through partnerships and preservation. American Express leads the way through one of the most creative and ambitious programs of the 21st century, Partners in Preservation. The Old North Church was one of the program's many recipients, and we are so very grateful. Thanks to these fine people, as you know, the Old North has a strong and secure steeple today, one that will last for generations to come. We've begun to transform this site, which occupies a place in America's collective consciousness as significant as the Statue of Liberty, the Washington Monument, and Independence Hall. For the first time, new national-based curriculum, as well as fine programs, in greater, in greater Boston's public schools are telling a contemporary story and inspiring youth of all ages and backgrounds, so innovative it won three 2010 awards. We know that cross-cultural sharing and understanding are needed now more than ever. 
The church plays an important role in this, and I'm happy to say that youth engagement and international visitation is soaring to this historic site. Thank you, Ken Chanel, your associates at American Express, and the American Express Foundation for understanding why cultural preservation is so important. Let us challenge ourselves to match the vision of this great company, to see the light of what preservation and partnerships can do. Just like the brave Minutemen of Lexington and Concord, let us gather together and marshal the will to, to improve the world through preservation and its beacon of inspiration. Please join me now in welcoming Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of American Express, Mr. Ken Schmoll. Don't leave the church without it. <laughs> 